Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to look at the key up and key down functionality in jQuery. Now, when you go to websites such as twitter.com and you look at the area that you are type that you would type a tweet in, you'll notice that you have things like a character countdown. Now, these uh, these checks in the background are based on when you uh, press a key on your keyboard. So in this example, we're going to look at the um, the key up and the key down event handling and how we can produce some output based on this. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to give the user a text field or a text input field and then we're going to allow them to type inside of this which is just a standard uh, HTML um, form field. What we're then going to do is display the contents outside of the field. So we're not really uh, creating anything practical, but you're going to get the hang of uh, this uh, key up and key down functionality. So the first thing we want to do is create a, another JavaScript file which is going to handle our events. So let's create a new, uh, a new um, file in our text editor. And I'm going to save this as keys.js. So I've now got keys.js inside this JS folder and inside index.php I can go ahead and actually start to include this. So I'm going to say script type is equal to text forward slash JavaScript and uh, end that script there. The source is going to be JS forward slash keys.js. So now keys.js is going to handle the events that we uh, you know want to well the event uh, of a key up or a key down so let's build up our page to give you uh, give you a rough idea of what what we're actually going to achieve so i'm going to create an input field and this is going to be text the id of this is going to be um, user text and that's all we need for now now let's go to our browser and have a look at this we just have a text area where we can type something in here now what I'm going to do is create a div just below here, or we can create a span, I guess. Um, and the span ID is going to be um, text or user text feedback. So I've called this user text feedback, and this is user text. Now the idea of this tutorial to demonstrate we're going to type. We're going to allow the user to type something into this text field, and as they're typing, we're going to relay what they're typing inside of this span. So essentially, what's going to happen is, as I type characters here, for example, A, A will then appear underneath. When I type B, B will appear underneath, and this is all without refreshing the page, obviously. So let's go ahead to our keys.js and start to create our event handler. Now we need to reference our input text. Uh, text field which is user underscore text so we know that in here we can write hash user text we can then say dot now this is where we call the event handler so I'm gonna say key up or key down we'll say now inside of here we need to create a function that's gonna run a block of code based on when the user presses a key down so function and in here we can uh, create start to create our code in here so let's just uh, for an example now say alert um, key down now what's going to happen is when the uh, user presses a key down while they're inside of the user text field we're going to alert key down so let's go over to our page and test this out i'm going to click inside of here and i'm just going to type a now you can see that we now have a uh, an alert box saying key down so we know that this works now it's an important part of testing um, I know I do especially use alert boxes a lot just to test um, event handling so we can just press OK on that even when we press a backspace we get the key down and then you can see that the A disappears so now that we know this works we can get rid of the alert and we can start to actually write out the input um, um, into this user text feedback span so we need to grab the value of this text field in order to display it out so what we need to do is we need to create this value so I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to call this user underscore text 
and that's going to be equal to the value that the user has currently typed inside of the element. Now to do this we just need to say hash user text dot val. The val function will take the value that's currently inside of this text area, okay, or this uh, input text. So now that we've got the uh, value here, we can go ahead and echo that out again just to see if it's working. So let's go ahead and refresh the page. I'm going to type in A. Now, the one thing you'll notice is that nothing has been relayed back to this um, alert box. However, when I go ahead and press another key, we get the first um, we get the first thing we typed. Now, we'll look at this problem in a moment. However, I'll briefly explain why we come across it. When we use the key down function, the event inside, for example, this event inside of here, the functionality here, will be um, executed or run straight away. It won't wait to actually grab the value. Because we're grabbing the value after the key down, um, once we've pressed the key down, this will be run straight away. Therefore, it won't give this enough time to grab the current value. And we'll change it in a minute and look at the key up um, event handler, which will solve the problem. So we'll go ahead and write the rest of the code, uh, and then we'll look at solving this problem in a moment. So what we now need to do is relay this value back to user text feedback. So what we can do is say uh, dollar sign inside here, user text feedback dot HTML HTML is a function we'll look at a bit later however this just adds um, some code to uh, this uh, the current element however we will worry about that a bit later when we come to it so HTML is going to output a value into this span uh, that we've created here so let's go ahead and uh, type in user underscore text inside of here so now essentially whatever the value is returned here will be input into this user text feedback field. So let's go ahead and test this. Let's just get rid of that and refresh the page. Okay, so let's go ahead and start typing some data into here. I'm gonna type A. You'll see nothing has appeared down here. However, when I type B, you'll see, oh well, it's next to the text field, but uh, you'll see that uh, we're getting the same problem as we had when we were using um, when we used the alert box. So as I type, it still relays the data. However, we're not getting the information in the correct order. You'll also notice that when I type A B C and I press backspace, you'll see C appear at the end of this A B here. Okay. So when we press um, when we use the key down. Um, event handler it doesn't relay the information in here in time for us to see it so what we do is we instead use key up so if you're having this problem then key up is the uh, the, fun uh, the event handler to use so let's go ahead and test this now a b c you can see that it's uh, writing it in exactly the same uh, time as we're typing it so in this tutorial we've looked at the key down and the key up function, the differences between them and where key up should be used, in this case when we're retrieving a value, and we've successfully created an input box which will relay information as it's being typed.